Okay, we want to find the volume of the solid formed by rotating around the x-axis, the region formed by y equals x squared and y equals square root of x, which you might notice intersect when x equals 0 and when x equals 1. So we're talking about this tiny little region here. We're going to rotate it around the x-axis. To get a better idea of what's going on here, let's take another look at this. So here's my y equals x squared and my y equals square root of x region. There is a representative little slice, and what we're doing is we're rotating that piece around the x-axis, and you notice that that's going to give us this donut shape, well, washer shape is what really what we call it. Uh, it's a large circle with a hole in the middle, right? And for each slice of this curve, we will get a rotated washer, and if we get a whole bunch of those, right, if we get a whole bunch of those little slices and we rotate them all, then we're going to get our actual shape, or at least a good approximation of it. In the long run, we're going to get the actual shape, uh, which we see there. So let's see what's going on here. So going back, you'll notice we have uh, one slice. We're rotating it around. So we need the volume of this slice, okay? So given this one slice here, we're rotated around, giving us that washer shape. My picture's not nearly as nice, but we need to find the volume of it. So for the volume of a washer, we have two radiuses, right? A small radius on the inside, a large radius on the outside, a little bit of thickness. So for the area of the large face, we have pi big R squared. For the area of the little circle that we took out, we got pi little r squared, and then all of that is multiplied by our thickness here. Our thickness corresponds with our dx, right? So this is the formula we're working with for the volume of the slice. So now let's see if we can put that together. So we got a pi in common. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. Big radius. So here, the large radius is this one, right? From the axis of revolution out to this top curve, right? Out to this point here. So remember that this curve was the square root function, so this y value is square root of x. So we got square root of x squared as the large radius squared. For the small radius, we're looking at this distance here, right? That's my little r. And that's going from the axis up to the other curve. And remember, this is the x squared curve. So we got x squared as the little radius, and then dx as my thickness. So then the volume of the whole shape, we're going to add up all those little slices. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to integrate. And if you want to here, you could go ahead and simplify. Square, square root x squared is x x squared squared is x to the fourth, and we're going to integrate from 0 to 1, right? From the first slice to the last slice.